Voyeur is a Netflix original documentary and it's one of these ones that I just put on hoping to kill some time while I was doing some other activities but it instantly grabbed me by this compelling and frankly absolutely crazy story. This is about two old gentlemen. We have Gay Talese, a writer for uh, various newspapers or magazines and he has published books, he's a well-respected reporter and he has been sitting on this story since 1980. And the story involves a man called Gerald Foos and over the years he's become comfortable with Talese and they decide that it's time to tell the story. Now that he's willing to go public with it, this is a documentation of him getting the story and publishing it. And the story is absolutely shocking. It starts in 1967 when Gerald Foos buys a motel with the city no other implication other than to make peepholes above all the rooms where he can watch everybody do what they do in motel rooms. And for the next 30 years, he documented and watched whatever people were doing in these motel rooms. And the guy seems very normal, very well adjusted, he speaks very well of himself and he doesn't come across as a pervert which he obviously kind of was going through this. And it's the city dichotomy of this man who was a voyeur for such a long period of time and then we have another kind of voyeur which is a reporter who is picking out information of this man, his story, putting it together for everybody else to have a peek into this man's life. It's voyeuristic in all kinds of aspects. It's cut together with some really nice imagery as well with the, uh, like small model motel rooms with the, the looming figure of Gerald Foos hovering over it, moving little things about with his oversized hands on these minuscule props it's really well done but it's the story a documentary succeeds or fails on its story and i think the story here is absolutely captivating that the the thought process going into this man to actually spend time building this knowing what he's doing is wrong making sure he does it all himself so there's nobody to really know what he's up to his wife is implicit with it as well she knows what's going on and helps him make sure that he is unseen and unheard when he's in his viewing platform uh, Gatelys really gets to the, the idiosyncrasies of this character finding out what made him do this, why did he do it um, and when they get the story published it kind of snowballs from there, it all covers uh, it looks like a period of years as they uncover more and more information as they get the story uh, set up, as they get the book released and the, the ramifications of once the story is out there and how it affects everybody. It's one of the better documentaries I've seen in a long while and it's one that, I, like I said, put on to kill some time and was absolutely hooked. I think it is shocking but compelling at the same time. One of the things that makes it so compelling is the, the characters. You have this juxtaposition between the voyeur uh, who is deemed a pervert, who does this uh, un people unwilling or unknowing what's happened and then you have the voyeur of the reporter who is welcomed into a situation, who sees things from an outset and is giving his perspective on this story or person or tale, whatever. It's nicely done, you get two really captivating characters, both of whom are equally fascinating and have their own idiosyncrasies that are really make up that, that person whom they are. I think, it, I can't suggest it highly enough, I think it's really interesting, it's kind of fun to see it play out of, of what the things that's happened. It's shocking because it goes into some of the things that Gerald actually saw in the motel room and some of it is morally ambiguous as to, well it's not ambiguous, it's just morally wrong what he does in these situations but I'll leave that for you to find out when you check it out. I think Voyeur was terrific, I gave it 4 out of 5, I think it's a must watch and something that you have to check out. If you've seen it, let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.